Wondering how to delete a group on Facebook? It's a bit of a hassle, but I'll show you how to do it step by step in this video. Welcome to 5 Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners ditch what everybody else is doing on social media and instead focus on the 20% of tasks that drive 80% of the results and revenue. Honestly, I don't know why everybody's not doing social media this way, because we can't keep up with the other way. So if that sounds like something you'd like in your business, in your life, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. And if you want to learn more about how to focus on that 20% that drives pretty much all your results and revenue, stay to the end for a special invite to a free masterclass that I'm going to be teaching. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a Facebook group. But I got to tell you up front, it is a massive hassle. And so the alternative is to pause a Facebook group, and I'll show you how to do that as well, okay? So first thing to know, you have to be an admin on a Facebook group. You can't be a moderator or any lower level access. You have to be an admin to delete a Facebook group. On that note, don't let anybody be an admin for your Facebook group unless you're okay with them deleting it and taking it away from you. Now, the terrible part about this process is that you can't delete the group until all the members are gone. And that's why it, there's no like just obvious delete group button when you're looking for it. So the way you would do it is you would go to the members tab here in your group, again, that you're an admin on. And this is just a group, as you can see, that only has two members in it. So I'm going to go through and take this member, click on the three dots and choose remove member. It'll ask you if you want to block them and different things like that. You say confirm. Now there's only one member, me. So I go here and then I say leave group. It says, are you sure you want to leave the group? Since you're the last member, leaving now will also delete this group. And so you go through and you click delete group if that's what you want to do. It reloads the page. But if I click on anything, as you can see, there is nothing available. Now, if you've got a hundred or thousands of members in your group, like I have a group that had thousands of people in it, there was no way I was going to go through and do this. You can also just pause your group, which means that people can still visit it and they can access any content, they can search content, but they can't request to join, they can't comment or anything like that. So to pause a group, I'm gonna come over here on the right under the cover photo, click the three dots, click pause group. You'll need to say why you want to pause the group. This is just feedback to Facebook. You can click other if you don't have anything. Hit continue, pausing it because there is a problem with it. Hit continue. And then they suggest you make an announcement letting people know why the group is being paused. Like, is this paused forever or is it going to be reopened someday the next time you do a promotion or different things like that? And if you want, you can even turn on this toggle down here and choose a date and a time that will, will automatically resume. So totally up to you when you're ready. Hit pause group. That group will be paused. People can still visit it. They can search it. They can read, watch videos, everything that's in the group, assuming they're already a member. But you can't add anyone new and they can't comment on it anymore. So basically it's just there as a database of information, but it's no work for you as an admin. Now, if you're feeling dangerous, there are browser plugins and things like that that supposedly will go through and remove everybody from a Facebook group for you. But you run the risk. First of all, browser plugins can read all the stuff that you type, passwords and everything like that. So you always run a risk there. Uh, I've seen people who say, oh, this one's amazing. And then 10 other people say, oh, it's terrible. And I think they stole my information. And so that's why I avoid those. That's why I prefer to just pause a group than bother to use some unofficial tool that Facebook hasn't approved and that could steal my information. Makes sense, right? Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment to let me know. I love to read your comments. And you're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. Hey, if you're frustrated with the way your social media for your business is going and you want a streamlined plan where you can get more results with less work, check out my free masterclass, Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy, okay? You can click the link and get signed up right now or watch this video for more information.